Hi, my name is Sherman Irby, and I'm the lead alto player for the Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra. Today we're going to talk about playing lead alto. It's one of the things I enjoy so much, to be able to be the voice of the saxophone section. It's a lot that you have to do in order to do that. There's a lot that you're responsible for, and we'll talk about those things. First of all, let's talk about singing the part that you have to play. It's your responsibility to sing that melody to be that voice on top of the other voices that can be heard and to play with as much expression as possible to sell the part, if you want to say it like that. Right now, I'm going to play something from uh, uh, one of Benny Carter's arrangements. Uh, and it's a great composition entitled All of Me. In his arrangement, he used the saxophone section to play the melody in the very beginning. So I'm just going to play a little bit of that example, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, that's a little bit of the beginning of all of me. Now, one of the things that we have to do as playing lead alto is to make the most out of the melody. So the beginning is... Now, in order to make that really sing, we use one technique called dynamics. So I did a little crescendo and added a little, a little bit of something to, to make it more vocal. Or I can uh, go the other way. You hear the difference? One of the other things that we can do is do little lip slurs. The way you will hear it inside of your own head may be different than it is out in the audience. But it is a very useful tool, especially when you're playing lead alto, because when you do things like that, and it sits on top of the rest of the saxophone section, it makes them sound so much more vocal. It makes the line more exciting. Another thing that we do when we play lead alto is that we try to be as consistent as possible. When we figure out how we're gonna play the part, then we try to be as consistent as we can. So the rest of the saxophone section can understand how we're gonna play it and really be comfortable in it and have a chance to follow me as I play my part. So once I decide whether I'm going to go or or once I make that determination, then that's what we stick with. It also goes with how we cut off notes and where we cut it off. Once we find how we're going to do that, then we'll be consistent about it. The way you start and the way you end a phrase or the way you start and end a note is very important. If you decide that you're going to cut it off on beat four of a measure or beat two of a measure, you have to write it down and be consistent about it and make sure that the rest of the saxophone section knows what you're doing. Here's another trick for that, is that when you're getting ready to play your first note, you take a deep breath, the beat before you need to play your note. So if it's one, two, three. <sighs> that way your air is ready to play, and also you give them a good cue of when to take their breath and when to come in and play. So you have a better chance of everybody coming in and playing together. And when you're cutting off a note, Some people do a little thing like that, or and you will really be surprised by how a little movement, like moving your saxophone, would help to conduct the saxophone section, to make them easier to follow you. I'm going to give you one last trick. This is one of the things that I, I came up with over the years, is that sometimes I would like to change the way that I would like to play my part, especially dynamic-wise. So I come up with a few ways that I can let the rest of the section know how I do it. When I want to play softer, I will bend down just a little bit. Not anything drastic, but just a little bit. And they can see it in their peripheral vision that I'm going, I'm moving up a little bit like this. So they would know instinctively to bring their volume down. So here's an example.
You notice when I started to play louder, I did what? I raised my horn up. That little bit of movement would cue the rest of the section to do the same thing with me without having me to say anything before or after. Because sometimes the changes that we make are in the spur of the moment. This is jazz. So this is what we do. So that was just a few pointers on how we would play lead alto. Thank you very much.